A very good evening to you all. Thank you for watching Uganda Broadcasting Corporation Television, UBC TV, exactly two days before Christmas. That's the 23rd of December 2023. Welcome to the UBC News tonight. With me, Wadulo Mark Arnold, Mugalu Muhammad on sign language. And without further ado, these are tonight's top stories. President Yori Kaguta Museveni briefs news editors on issues of national importance. Furthermore's, furthermore, MPs relentlessly pursue the Mugaza censure process. And police recover counterfeit security attire from ghetto youth. And in sports, kickboxers pledge an amazing show at the end of year bonanza. Once again, thank you for joining us. We now give you the news in detail. The first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for East African Affairs, Rebecca Alitwala Kadaga, is calling upon all the East African member states, especially citizens, to embrace the integration with vigor since the bloc is full of opportunities ranging from manpower, resources to markets. The Premier has been this Friday morning delivering her end of year message, as these details entail. The first Deputy Prime Minister, who is a Minister for East African Affairs, Rebecca Alitwala Kadaga, has this morning interacted with the UBC media team. First, I'm all, uh, delighted to say that uh, the issue of Swahili, which was uh, uh, established in the, our constitution in, uh, in 1995 as a second national language, will finally be activated. Uh, we have started. Uh, with the training of the cabinet, which we are undertaking every Monday uh, between 9 and 10 on each cabinet day, and it is going well. Uh, we shall soon be uh, moving to other sectors. Kadaga was giving highlights of the 2022 in line with her docket. We were able to reassert our position within the East African community by enabling the appointment of uh, a very, very competent clerk. Ugandan clerk, Mr. Alex Battery, who is doing an extremely good job at uh, the East African community and also to secure uh, a few other positions. Another decision which had been outstanding was the issue of uh, uh, removal of the visa costs between uh, Uganda and South Sudan, which I found uh, had been outstanding for about four years. We were able to achieve that and it has now been uh, regularized. Kadaga says supporting the private sector has been one of the key achievements during this one year. The community is supposed to be a people-centered uh, uh, treaty. Therefore, I'm delighted that uh, we were able to support the proprietors of Mutukula Regional Market to get land from the government and they are going to establish a, a major facility in Mutukula which will serve uh, the northern Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, and, uh, and DRC as well as Uganda. In the year 2022, the bloc also welcomed the Democratic Republic of Congo. It has boosted the numbers uh, of the population of the EAC because the community now stretches from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean and has over 300 million people. It's a big market. Uh, we, it will also give us an opportunity to support uh, DR Congo officially uh, to uh, improve the security situation in uh, Eastern Congo. The East African Court of Justice session, which recently convened in Kampala and Small Enterprises Exhibition, organized at Kololo a few days ago, are among the country's smiling points in the year 2022. We also had a good opportunity to host the uh, Ushirikiano Imara, the 13th military games in Jinja. Uh, the, the forces of the uh, seven countries were there for, for one month. Uh, they left behind a lot of infrastructure. Uh, the Vita Hospital, uh, a, a health facility in Nivonamba, in Ninja uh, City. They constructed a school at uh, uh, Mutai. Being a woman member of parliament for Kamuli district, Kadaga acknowledges that come 2023, it will not be business as usual. 
uh, in January, I'll be executing my program for the solar lights in the 56 localities which were requested for during the campaign. Uh, so uh, I'll be informing you which villages because I have a list of those where pledges were made. According to Kadaga, the solar project is as a result of electricity shortage and demand in her area. Robert Nyango, UBC News. Furthermore, President Yori Kaguta Museveni has today engaged media editors from different media houses across the country who called on him at State House in Tebe, or rather Nakasero. In a question and answer interactive session, this session focused on a wide range of issues involving security, the economy, land matters, among others. UBC's Samuel Senono attended the session and now reports. President Museveni has today engaged media editors and talk show hosts across the country on a wide range of issues. The first set of questions focused on issues to do with land wrangles and security. On land, Museveni highlighted that the government he heads has laid out strategies aimed at correcting what he called a colonial problem. Because they don't listen to our strategy, which was a win-win. Eventually, so that he lives over nine to the Chibanja people. So that's the cover you, 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 you hear. When asked about abductions and alleged torture as reported by the media, Museveni tasked the journalist to adduce evidence, maintaining that he doesn't condone these acts. We are against uh, extrajudicial killings. And we are against all of these uh, arrests without, without, without charges. And we organized you, the people. You, you are all organized from the village LOC one, these are all elected people. So if there is anything, anything who violates, anybody who is arrested must be coming from a village, must be coming from somewhere. And those structures should bring it up and, and we follow, follow it up. The president also called on the media to promote government developmental programs like the Parish Development Model and EMIOGA. Yes, these radios uh, are, are uh, but I think our own radio, UBC, should set its own example. Leka bano abatafa kuwantu bafe bagumaza ndo zomuganda hito gumaza gumaza to divert people. Uh -huh. Let our own UBC bring programs to educate the people. So that abagara kugumaza babere yo bagumaza na enafe like we have got our own radios like Bukhed and so on they can they can cooperate they can they can advise guide and people in time will judge will judge the one who is their friend and who is their who is just using them. Asked about the economy's outlook, Museveni revealed that Uganda's GDP figures paint a picture of a country on an upward trajectory. If you wanted to prove that Uganda is strong, this corona uh, proves it. Because with corona, tourism stopped completely. But in spite of tourism stopping and other disruption, hotels, uh, the, the, the the hospitality industry stopped, 